Goodwill Cuba? Environmentally conscious Cuba? This is what we're doing now? These two fragrances were sent over to me because these are fragrances with a cause. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can chitty chat about some fragrances that will give back to the environment. What's it morning, my beautiful peoples? You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and be like Cuba Captain Planet. That's not what we're doing here. But when there's something with a nice cause behind it, why not share it with the world? I know I don't only have dirtbag Steves and scumbags following me. There's people who are actually environmentally conscious, really worried about sustainability, and all that good shit, right? So these fragrances actually give back with every purchase to some of our wildlife and habitats. So I got two fragrances that were sent over to me by Sanctuary who's collaborating with Scentbird and doing a very, very like minuscule tiny piece of research on them. It seems that every purchase that you make from this brand, any bottle, I believe up to 20% gets donated right back into a charity affiliated with the name or animal attached to the fragrance. So for example, I have two fragrances. This is the Javan Rhino. And this one is the Amour Leopard. So if you can see here, these are the two sanctuary fragrances. Now they come in this cardboardish kind of frame with a paper sleeve. Obviously it's very environmentally conscious and it's dropping shit all over my mat, let's be clear. You know when you open up the package and it has all those little fucking pellets and beads and shit that they mix all over the place? This doesn't have that, but this shit sheds and it's all over the fucking place. But it's environmentally conscious. Now here's what the bottles look like. They're very nice stock bottles. This is the Amur Leopard, and it's got a little bit of the design of a leopard right here. I don't know if it's hard to see, and then it's got Sanctuary on the bottom. These are 100 ml, and they're actually right under $100. So I'm gonna give you the fragrance notes, and then we're gonna give this a first impression, see what we get out of it. So the primary notes in this fragrance are rosemary, apple, and leather notes. So let's smell this. Let me get a test strip. And find a fucking test strip, so let's just try it on skin, and let's see what we get out of this fragrance. All right. Super nice. High-end designer vibes, dumb reach, super wearable, very clean, very bright, very sweet. That synthetic apple note is very familiar, to be honest with you. It has kind of like a, not Dunhill red, one of the Dunhills. It has that vibe. Mass appealing date night fragrance. It is a recognizable DNA for sure. The greenness and herbaceousness of that rosemary definitely helps offset that sweetness, that slightly clawing. I guess it's leopard clawing. Very nice, very wearable, very designerish, familiar DNA, but with a purpose. Pretty good. Next one. Now the next one is Javan Rhino. If this smells like rhino foreskin, <laughs> Here's the Javon Rhino bottle. Again, same stock bottle. This one has like a rhino on it, obviously. And let's see what the notes in this one are. Now this one is fig, sage, and sandalwood. I am a big fig fan. So I hope this one will be like the, the star for me because I love, love fig fragrances. So let's give this one a whirl. Yeah, this one is definitely more my speed. Not a very prominent, ooh, wait, I might take that back. Oh, that fig takes a minute. The fig and sandalwood are really the dope combination here. They actually, ooh, I got a little bit of a goose pimple, tiny bit. Oh, I like this one more. Yeah, this one is not so clawing. This one is really smooth. It has a little bit of a soapy shower fresh vibe, but the earthiness of the fig and the woodiness of the sandalwood, this one is nice. Also in the designer space, but I can't specifically pinpoint which one this one may smell like. This one is definitely more my speed. Oh, and this one is actually changing too. This one is not staying as linear as the leopard one. This one feels like it's gonna have some dynamic changes to it. This one I like. Fresh, green, earthy fig. The citrus here is not bright. It's more greenery and earthy is what I'm getting from this one. So not to mention, according to the website, these fragrances are vegan, clean, cruelty-free, and as we saw, sustainable packaging. So this is just happy-go-lucky, good vibes all over. 
The fragrances aren't complete duds. Like if they were shit fragrances that actually smelled like fucking rhino asshole or something like that, that would kind of like not work in my space. But the leopard one seems to be a little bit more youthful, young, kind of a DNA designer vibes that a lot of people will absolutely enjoy. Kind of Dunhill icon meets like Paco Rabanne 1 million. But the Rhino one for me is a little bit better. It's a little bit greener, earthier, slightly grittier. Looks like it has some nice facets to it. It's got a body, but still has that mass appeal quality. This doesn't feel like it's gonna be a performance beast by any means because on the skin, even with those two sprays, they seem kind of just very low key and chill possibly more of a skin scent, but we don't know that because this is first impression, so that's just assumption on my part. I actually think when brands start doing shit like this, it's pretty dope, especially if they truly do give back, especially as they say here, up to 20% to the actual animals listed on that. That's dope, I mean, come on, I gotta show a little love to that. That's pretty fucking fire. So I'll put a link in the description for either of these fragrances because they do have others as well that I have not smelled. But this is a good cause, and if you're into the environment and your animals and it's giving back any way that you can, this is a way to enjoy your hobby and give back. So look at that Goodwill Cuba. Maybe I'm buying my way into heaven or get like 78,000 virgins or something. I don't know. I'll see y'all bitches next time. Shout out to Sanctuary and Sandberg for sending me these joints, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough brother that raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>